Hello everyone, welcome to chemistry class. This is the online class series part 7 of the chapter number 1. Dear students, as we have been studying the chapter number 1, periodic table, and we have been discussing the periodic properties, this is the time to discuss the last periodic properties as we have discussed the remaining periodic properties. Now we will be discussing about electronegativity and its trends and variations in the periodic table. Followed by that, we will be discussing the question answers of this chapter. Let us begin. So here we now begin with the topic electronegativity. The definition is what is electronegativity? It is the tendency of an atom in a molecule to attract a shared pair of electrons. Let us just make it clear with this example here. Here two atoms are given. One is hydrogen and another one is fluorine. Here fluorine is having seven valence electrons and hydrogen is having one valence electron. So what they will do? They will both share their valence electrons and as a result we will have this shared pair of electron this is what is called as sharing of electrons we'll be dealing with this in more details in the chapter 2 related to chemical bonding but i'll use this example to make the concept of electronegativity more clear so here what is happening is sharing of electron that is taking place so now the definition says what it says the tendency of an atom to attract a shared pair of electron tendency means ability is this atom able to attract this pair of electrons towards itself or not what does it mean for example fluorine in this case how much ability it has to attract this shared pair of electrons towards itself hydrogen and fluorine now the shared pair of electron will lie somewhere in between but this pair will be shifted either in left side or, or in the right side one or, the, one, or, one or the other side it will move or shift itself it will depend on the electronegativity if fluorine is more electronegative then it will shift little bit towards fluorine both the electron will shift they will not fully take part or become a part of the fluorine atom just they will shift little bit towards the fluorine atom otherwise they will shift towards the hydrogen atom so exactly what is happening fluorine here is more electronegative comparing to hydrogen as a result what happens here is that fluorine will attract the shared pair of electron the electrons will be more closer to the fluorine atom the hydrogen nucleus will be far away from this shared pair of electron so that is what is called as ability of the atom to attract the shared pair of electron you should not confuse this with electron affinity in case of electron affinity it is the it is the amount of energy that is required to gain electron here there is no gain of electron electrons are not gained only the electrons are attracted towards a particular atom just they are shifting a little bit they are not gained by another atom here fluorine is not gaining this electron in its own orbit just it is a shift in the position of the shared pair of electron only and here it is not related to the amount of energy it is just the tendency only it is just the ability of the atom that is why here the point is given it indicates only the tendency of the element to attract the electron pair because no measurement of energy or the amount of energy lost or released is done like we are doing in ionization energy or in electron affinity that is why it is called as dimensionless property that means it does not have any unit like in the case of electron affinity we are having the unit kilojoules per mole or electron volts per atom but here we are not having these units because no measurement of energy is involved in this so how we can relate different atoms which one is more electronegative and less for that we have a scale developed by Linus Pauling this was the scientist who gave the Pauling scale based on this scale we are placing the different elements in the order of electronegativity and if we see all the elements and compare them then the least electronegative element is cesium and the most electronegative one is fluorine what is the reason for them being most least most and the least electronegative that we will now explore when we will see the factors on which it depends so electronegativity depends on two important factors one is atomic size and another is nuclear charge there are certain other factors as well first let us see atomic size greater the atomic uh, atomic size lesser is the electronegativity if the other the factors will be similar to that in electron affinity exactly it will be same only because here also electrons are attracted 
ऑल दो दे आर नॉट बींग गेन बट गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड एट्रैक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इज अ सिमिलर कॉन्सेप्ट सो हेयर इफ द साइज ऑफ एटम इज बिगर दैन वॉट विल हैपन द न्यूक्लियस विल बी इन सेंटर एंड इफ द साइज इज बिगर द न्यूक्लियस विल बी फार अवे फ्रॉम द इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड हैंस द एट्रैक्शन विल बी लेस सो इफ बिगर एटम इज देयर और बिग मोर एटोमिक रेडियस इज देयर दैन इलेक्ट्रॉन नेगेटिविटी विल बी वेरी लेस सो एज ए रिजल्ट ग्रेटर एटम्स हैव लेस एट इलेक्ट्रॉन नेगेटिविटी स्मॉलर एटम्स हैव higher electronegativity similar concept will apply in case of the nuclear charge greater than nuclear charge greater is the electronegativity in other words you can say if high atomic number is there then electronegativity also becomes more why it is so because of the stronger nucleus stronger nucleus leads to what it leads to high it leads to high electron attraction more electrons can be attracted towards the center of the nucleus that is what is leading to high electronegativity apart from these two important factors one more important factor is there although it is not been mentioned in the book but you should be knowing it that is the cationic charge the charge on the cations if a normal atom forms the cations then how much charge is there that is the for example fe iron forms two ions that is fe2 plus and fe3 plus then which which is having more cationic charge 3 plus or 2 plus obviously 3 is more so if 3 plus is having more cationic charge the atom which is having more cationic charge will it will be more electronegative what can be the reason the reason is related to the atomic size only because if more cationic charge is there if 3 plus it means that it has lost 3 electrons if 3 electrons are lost means what the number of electrons has become less in the case of the if 3 plus as a result if 3 plus becomes smaller in size compared to if 2 plus if 2 plus becomes greater in size and smaller atoms are what having smaller atoms are having more electronegativity greater atoms are having less electronegativity so if any atom is having high cationic charge it means it has more electronegativity in it on the uh, if we are if you are asking for a term if someone asks to you what is the opposite term used for electronegativity that will be electropositive nature that, that is just opposite of this electronegative nature let us see the trends observed in case of the electronegativity if we go across the period what is happening is there is charge uh, in nuclear charges increasing because of increase in atomic number in a particular period as a result what happens electronegativity will increase because the nucleus is becoming stronger in a single period as we go down the group what is happening new and new shells are added of in a particular group as a result what is happening there effect of increase of atomic size overcomes the effect of increase in nuclear charge and electronegativity is decreasing why the weight is decreasing because the atomic size is increasing more compared to the atomic number and hence the nucleus is becoming less effective in that case if the nucleus is becoming less effective then the force of attraction given or imparted by the nucleus on the outer electrons or the shared pair of electrons it will be reduced hence electronegativity decreases down the group and increases left to right in a particular period here this table has been taken from your book just for reference just for observation no need to learn it this is what is known as pauling scale this all the values have been measured and have been kept and i have been written here you can see the highest electronegative element the most electronegative element is 4 the rate of the electronegativity is given 4 no unit will not be given there we will not use any for example 4 kilojoules or electron volt nothing will be given only the number has to be mentioned the least electronegative is cesium that is having 0.7 that is this scale is generally measured on the scale of 0 to 7 the least electronegative 0 to 4 sorry 0 to 4 not 7 0 to 4 the highest electronegative is having the electronegative the electronegativity 4 the least one is 0 0 is generally not observed here just for you to make it simple an illustration is given of the periodic table so the highest the most electronegative element is fluorine the peak is rising the it is the highest one that is why according to that they have shown in this diagram there the least one is in the case of cesium we are not using francium because because it is an irradiative element that is why we are not using this in general cases we are writing cesium only and you can compare here if you are moving down the group it is decreasing if you are moving left to right in the period it is increasing 
by the slope you can understand that is all for electronegativity let us come to the another topic that is diagonal relationship in the periodic properties or the variation of the periodic properties you might have observed a trend that if one property or one trend is showing increasing trend across the uh, across the period then it will decrease across the group and vice versa for example in the case of electronegativity just now we have seen that electronegativity is decreasing down the group and increasing across the period so one side it is decreasing other side it will increase this opposite trends are generally observed between periods and the group because of this what is happening there that the elements which are belonging to the second period the elements of the second period will show similar properties with the element of the next group and period number 3 second group uh, sorry second period element will have similar property with that of the next group element of third period that will form a diagonal between them that is a right diagonal the diagonal will be in the right side only don't make make it opposite end so that will be towards the right side only as a result a diagonal relationship is established between these element between lithium and magnesium both will show similar physical properties similarly beryllium and aluminium you can, you can see here and also beryl and also boron and silicon these are all, all elements because they are showing diagonal relationship they are called as bridge elements diagonal relationship is shown by the bridge elements why it is being shown the reason is what the reason is related to their ionic radius because when these elements are forming the ions their atomic radius is similar so the concept of ionic radii is applied to this relationship because of the same or sim not exactly same and there is a variation in points only in their values so the similar ionic radii is of these different ions of these atoms as a result there is some kind of diagonal relationship that is shown you don't have to go into deeper details that you will be reading or learning in more details in class 11 that is all for this diagonal relationship let us have a discussion on the in text exercise questions from part 3 of the in text questions question number 1 this uh, define the ionization potential and b part we have to represent in the form of equation and the unit as well so the definition is simple it is the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral gaseous atom and convert it into positive gaseous ion the equation is given in the textbook also m plus i e gives m positive ion m means any element it can be any metal or non metal it is measured in watt units in electron volts per atom and the si unit is kilojoules per now we have the question 2 ionization potential depends on two things we have to explain this first atomic size the reasons are given and the nuclear charge that is simple if the greater atomic size is there what will happen force of attraction will reduce and outermost electrons will be away from the nucleus hence less energy will be required and ionization energy is less regarding the nuclear charge greater the nuclear charge more will be the attraction on the outermost electrons and hence hence those outermost electron will be more firmly means tightly held because of which more energy will be required to remove them that is how these two factors are affecting the ionization energy question number 3 states the trends in the ionization energy we have to tell the variation so uh, first one is across the period they are asking so ionization energy increases left to right across the period why it is so because the atomic size is decreasing and the outermost electrons are coming close to the nucleus that is why more energy will be required as the atomic size is reduced as you go left to right in the particular period second one ionization energy decreases down the group why why it is so because down the group atomic size is increasing atom is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and the outermost electrons are going far away from the center of the atom next one question 4 name the elements with highest and lowest ionization energy in the first three periods remember here they are not asking full periodic table only the first three periods so uh, having a look on the first three periods you can find out the answer is helium is having high, highest ionization energy because it is on the extreme right of the periodic table in the first three periods and similarly in the first three period the bottom one the element on the most bottom is sodium only next one question number 5 we have to arrange these elements you can note down this from the answer here itself you have to know write the 
order of ionization energy in the second and the third period so left to right what is happening the ionization energy is increasing hence you can write this elements in the increasing order of as they are simply placed in their second and the third period their normal position only has been put up here next one now question number 6 that is define electron affinity state its unit the definition you can note down word by word that is in the book textbook itself what is the unit uh, here the unit i have not mentioned it is electron volts per atom and the si unit is kilojoules the k you have to make small j capital kilojoules per mole that is the si unit next b part we have to arrange again we have to arrange this in the increasing order of electron affinity and we have to also name the element which do not follow the trend you see in the second period and the uh, in the second period what is there these particular elements will not show the trend they will not they will there are certain exceptions actually they will not follow the trend so these are the ones which do not follow the regular order of electron affinity they are exception the question number seven here is electron that is a fill up only electron affinity so across the period what is happening electron affinity is increasing and down the group it is decreasing in the question eight now electronegativity and the unit the electronegativity definition is tendency of an atom that is ability of an atom to attract shared they are shared pair you have to carefully note down this should be there and the tendency of atom should be mentioned in the definition how what is the unit now here it is it is a dimension as di dimension less property it is that is why it has no units question number eight b part now. now here options are given we have to tell the least electronegative element so the least electronegative out of this which one should be there that is lithium why it is lithium because it belongs to group number first and the remaining ones are in the later groups if i ask the most electronegative out of these four then which one should it be it should be fluorine because it belongs to halogen that is group number 17 as we move left to right in the periodic table electronegativity is increasing and group 17 is on the extreme right of the periodic table hence fluorine is the most electronegative out of these four options that are given here the question number 8 c there also they have asked the most electronegative out of the given options Magne you can see in the question in the book magnesium chlorine aluminium and sulfur so this is the previous year question i hope by the concepts uh, that have been explained you would be able to solve it you can uh, you can type the answer in the comment section i want to see how many know the answer question number nine explain the following here some situations some um, concepts are given and we have to tell the reason why it is happening so first group 17 a part group 17 elements are strong non-metals whereas group first elements are metals so why the halogens are non-metals and the group one is metal why it is so because the answer is given as you move across the period left to right what is happening the nuclear pull is increasing because of the atomic charge is increasing nucleus becomes stronger and hence what happens the atom shrinks the atom size reduces because of stronger nucleus as a result what will happen because of that law uh, less electron uh, less atomic size electrons cannot lose easily hence they are non-metals group 17 are non-metals non-metals are which elements are non-metals the elements which cannot lose electrons are generally non-metals on the contrary we can also say the elements which can easily gain electrons are non-metals so that is why group 17 elements being as they are having smaller atomic size they are generally non-metals on the opposite what is written there the group first element can easily lose electrons because they can easily lose electrons they are strong metals question number ninth b part here the metallic character of the element decreases from left to right while it increasing increases on moving down the group it also similar concept because metallic character they are asking metallic character is related to what it is related to the loss of electron if any element can lose electron then it is more metallic if it if any element can lose uh, can gain electrons easily then it is non-metallic so why it is happening the trend the same similar reason i have written that as i have already explained in a part you can see the answer if you want to note down the question number c part quickly will move now without making the video any longer halogens have a high electron affinity 
electron affinity is the uh, is the amount of energy that is required to gain the electrons so why it is high in the case of in the halogens in the group 17 because the halogens atoms are very small and if the smaller atomic size is there then automatically ability to gain electrons will be more because of the effective attractive force this attractive force is coming from where from the nucleus of the atom because nucleus is near the outer electrons the electron which has to be gained so that is why halogens having small atoms can have very high electron affinity question d part of the earth question the question they have asked the reducing power of the element increases down the group while it decreases in a period what is reducing power reducing power is related to the electrons only in case of oxidation it is gain of electron in case of reduction it is loss of electron so here also it can be related to the ionization potential because ionization potential is what it is the amount of energy released or sorry absorbed in the loss of electron so that is why reducing property depends on the ionization potential and as the trend that is shown in the ionization energy same trend will be shown in the reducing property if ionization potential of any atom is more then reducing property will also be more and vice versa so you can see the answer here that is given in this then question number e part size of the atom progressively becomes smaller as we move from sodium to chlorine in the third period in the single period they are asking as we moving rightwards in the third period from sodium to chlorine atom is becoming smaller why is the atom becoming smaller that is very simple question because the nuclear charge is increasing why the nuclear charge is increasing because the atomic number is increasing from left to right in the same period as a result what will happen because the strong nucleus is there as a result the outermost electrons will come closer to the nucleus and hence sodium which is on the left of the period of the particular period it will have a larger atom and chlorine which is on the extreme right of the same period will become smaller because chlorine is having stronger or a bigger nucleus compared to sodium question number 10 now name the periodic property just the properties we have to write there the definitions are only already given there all definitions i have explained so you can note down the answer if needed question number 11 this is application based question again if you have understood the concept then only you can solve these questions else it may be difficult and this kinds of questions can be found separately also not only from the book we can give another questions based on the concepts that have been explained in the class so you should be thorough with the concept not no need to remember you don't have to only memorize the answers only you should be thorough with the concept also so here certain elements are given a sorry the elements are given from a to p and above this atomic numbers are given in the question it is given atomic number 3 to 18 i have asked you to learn the number the atomic number minimum 1 to 20 you should learn and at least from the first period to the third period yes students you have to learn all the atomic numbers from the first to the third period in the periodic table minimum this much should be there till third period only the questions will be asked in the board exam as well so here as well this is related up to third period and based on this we have to answer the following questions so which of these are the most electronegative elements most electronegatives are where they are on the extreme right of the periodic table so which are the elements here in the extreme right you can see here that is the element number 9 and element number 17 how i can come to know this can be clear if we do the electronic configuration 9 electronic atomic number 9 will be 27 and in case of 17 atomic number it will be 287 so if the valence electrons are 7 that means what that means they are halogens that is obvious that means g and o is representing what it is representing halogens so that will also solve our b part also so smallest atomic size is of g and halogens are g and o clear if it is not clear most electronegative elements they are asking halogens are g and o out of g and o now electronegativity is high in halogens now we have to choose one which is the most electronegative that is in a part they are asking most electronegative so if we go down the group then what will happen we have seen across the period that is g and o are having maximum electronegativity but in the single period which is more electronegative if we go down the group 
this way then what will happen the electronegativity will decrease as a result g is most electronegative in the b part they are asking which one is halogen so both g as well as o belong to halogen group c part they have asked about alkali metals alkali metals are group 1 elements so group 1 is the first one only so that will be a and i which element is having valency 4 here 4 valency belongs to if you do the electronic configuration of 6 it comes to 4 so valency is 4 similarly if you do the electronic configuration of element 14 then it comes to 284 so answer is d and l next one least ionization energy many the answers are written downside there least ionization energy minimum ionization energy will be belonging to which one that will be here yeah, it is the ionization energy it decrease it will in, it will be less in the case of down the group as you move down the group what happens the ionization energy decreases so as we are here at the element number 11 that is having minimum ionization energy next one least atomic size in period 3 period number 3 is this one not the above one this is period number 3 element number 11 to 18 are period number 3 so they are they are, what they have asked is least atomic size minimum size of the atom atomic size is as you go left to right in the period atomic size decreases so this is the least one here all the answers are given a part 2 f part the last one o is having the least atomic size the last question number it should be 12 i have written the wrong it is answer number 12 a group of elements in the periodic table are given below. Here we have been given the elements from a particular group. This is group of boron family. So now we have to answer the following question based on this group only. Which element is the most metallic? The metallic character as we go down the group is increasing. As a result what will happen? If we place this element, first one is boron followed by and in the last one it will be thallium. So the last one is most metallic. That is, that is why the answer comes thallium. The reason I have given because metallic character increases down the group. Second B part there was which element is expected to have the highest electronegativity in the particular group. As you go downward the electronegativity is decreasing. As a result the most electronegative is the first one only that is boron the answer is given electronegativity decreases down the group as size increases and hence the most electronegative element in this group is boron next one c part if the electronegativity uh, sorry electronic configuration of aluminium is given here then how many electrons are there in the outer shell of thallium if al aluminium is having how many valence electron you see the last one is three written there that is why it is having three valence electron and in the same group all these elements are in the same group that means thallium will also have same number of valence electron in the same group number of valence electron does not change that in the earlier classes we have seen so the answer is three electrons the number of electrons in the valence shell is same from for each group because all these elements belong to same group they will have same number of valence electron question d part the atomic number of boron is given 5 we have to write the chemical formula when it reacts with chlorine so if boron reacts with chlorine then what will happen boron is having atomic number 5 that they have given so if we write the electronic configuration of boron then it will come to be 2 and 3 by this configuration we can say that the valency of boron is 3 so let us write the valency of boron here and the valency of chlorine we already know that is 1 now we can transpose this and what answer will come b into 1 that will give us b and cl into 3 that will give us cl3 so answer is cl3 b cl3 here the answer is given b cl3 next one the last question will the elements in the group to the right of the boron group be more metallic or the less metallic or less metallic in character so the what they are asking after the boron family the next one is carbon family so they are asking will this carbon and will the elements of this carbon fam family will be more metallic or less metallic and we have to justify justify means we have to give the answer only also the reason also so here it is given the metallic character decreases from left to right as we go towards the right in the periodic table the metallic character will reduce and non-metallic character will come in the in the full periodic table you can observe metals are on left side and non-metals are on right side that means what that means non-metallic character is reducing 
sorry the metallic character is reducing and the non metallic character is increasing as a result after the boron next group will be more non metallic so here i have written so the elements in the group right to the will be less metallic or we can also say they will be more non metallic in character that is all for this in text exercise 3 next remaining questions will be having in the next upcoming week that's all for today thank you